Hey guys, and welcome to another video. My name is Autumn Renee, and I am a 23-year-old foster parent, and today I thought I would take you guys on a little tour of my one-bedroom apartment to show you how I prepare for a foster care placement ages zero to two. So we're gonna start here with my crib. I got a mini crib just to save some space. Still has plenty of room for the kids to sleep, and I just have a simple white sheet and mattress in here because foster care doesn't allow any kind of bumpers or blankets or anything like that um, because of SIDS risk for children who are under one years of age. Over here, I have my dresser. Um, the left half of the dresser I keep for just my personal stuff, and I actually emptied out this entire side just to have room for uh, foster care clothes that I'm hopefully able to buy my placement when I, they come. In here, I have this little cabinet here, which I chose to just keep my swaddle blankets, my um, burp cloths, a blackout curtain, and their extra sheets just in here. Up here, I have a sound machine, and guys, I cannot recommend this sound machine enough. I love this Hometic sound machine. It's got white noise, rain, um, summer night, brook, ocean, and thunder. You just turn the little dial, it turns on. If you want to put a timer, you can, or otherwise it'll just stay on until you turn it off. So I highly recommend this. It's great. Over here, you can see I have a little laundry hamper and a rocking chair. This rocking chair is probably one of the best things I've bought so far. I think it's by the company Modway, and I'll leave it linked below. Um, I'll actually leave as much of the stuff I can below for you guys if you like anything in this video. Um, and this rocking chair, though, is great, guys. It's made out of molded plastic, which sounds, like, super uncomfortable and, like, not supportive and all that. But I swear, this rocking chair is so comfortable. It has, like, the best back support. And it's, like, so small. Like, you can see how, like, low it is to the ground. Like, it doesn't take up space at all. If you are, like, struggling with space, I highly recommend this rocking chair. Um, over here, I have just some books, and I have a little mirror, and that is about it. Over here, though, I have my closet, and this closet has been a lifesaver for me. I pretty much just dedicated the whole right side of it to foster care. Over here, I just have some baby gear, and once again, you guys do not have to buy all this baby gear up front. I just didn't want to have to be, like, running out to the store, like, every single time I got a placement. So I just went ahead and invested in some things that I knew I was going to want um, for some of the age ranges I was going to have. So I first thing I got was the Skip Hop Activity Center, which converts to like a jumper type thing to um, a toddler like coloring table. So I got that, which is this right here. Behind that, I have the Skip Hop Activity Mat. And I will be doing a review on these things so you guys can keep an ID, I, uh, eye out for that on my channel. I also have my diaper bag, which is the GGB Be Right Back diaper bag. This is in the color Amethyst Ice. I'm doing a review on this as well. I have a Uber diaper pail, Ubi diaper pail right there. And I also have a Fisher Price take and go swing. The take and go swing is another thing that's really great for if you're trying to save space um, because it doesn't take up that much space, especially in terms of swings. They take up so much room and this has really been a lifesaver. Over here is a space saving Fisher Price uh, high chair and I just keep it there because I don't need it until I have a placement. Up here, I have the Ubi diaper caddy and just some basic diapering essentials. Some wipes, uh, the hand sanitizer, just some more wipes, and some diaper cream. And here, I just keep some little things like hats, bibs, pacifiers, and some little hair bands. These are just some blankets. And under here, this is how I kind of keep my clothes stored when I don't have a placement. I um, have a organized zero to six months. 7 to 12 months, and toddler sizes. And guys, I did not go out and buy all these clothes brand new. I found them at secondhand stores and garage sales for like really cheap and just kind of got a few clothing items for each season and each size so that I at least have enough clothes to last a couple days um, for whatever placement I got. Obviously, if you have a bigger age range, that might be a little harder to do, but for me, I was able to do it. Up here, I just have a car seat angler if you need to angle your car seat. Over here, I have just a box for foster care documents. Uh, as you guys can see, I have quite a few more documents in there, and that is not even all of it. Up here, I have diapers. I have sizes one through five. My diapers of choice are these Pampers Pure. I'll probably make a video on that at some point, guys, but I highly recommend those diapers if you can afford them. Up here, I just have some wipes and some disposable diaper bags and just some extra hangers if I ever get clothes that need to be hung. Okay, so coming back out through my bedroom, I just have my bathroom, and you can see me. Hey, guys, how's it going? Let me turn this light on. Uh, nah, that's better. So under here, I just keep some bath toys and some extra, um, like, baby wash just to keep on hand. And so on my shower curtain, I have just this little baby bathtub. This is just the, the Fisher-Price, um, like, three-stage bathtub. 
And I'll, like I said, I'll leave it linked below so you guys can find it. And it's just my cute little cactus shower curtain. As you guys cannot tell yet, I really like cacti. So moving on, I have just a little cleaning closet here. I did go ahead and put childproof locks in this. And you guys will notice my outlets and everything are also childproofed. And I did keep all my cleaners way up high, um, which is required for foster care. Over here, I have my dining room, which is where I would be keeping my um, high chair if I had it out. There's just some Christmas presents. Obviously, those are seasonal. Moving on over here, down here is where I keep my uh, medicine cabinet, which is double locked. I have, I have a childproof lock on here, and I also have like a padlock on the medicine cabinet, uh, medicine like box itself as well. Up here, guys, is where I kind of just store all of my um, kids' stuff for eating. <laughs> I have bottles and a bottle washing rack. I've got snack containers, a bottle warmer, plates, cups, just basic child eating things that you're gonna need. Uh, so I kinda just have it stashed there out of the way for now since I'm not using them currently. And I did go ahead and wash all of these and the clothes just so they're ready to use. And over here, I kinda have just a child drawer. I've got bibs and forks and extra nipples and just some eating accessories in there. That's basically everything in my kitchen for foster care. And over here, I just have a laundry room, nothing exciting in there. Coming back over to my living room, you can see my tiny kind of wimpy Christmas tree. Don't judge me guys, I just moved this year and did not have time to super decorate for Christmas. Um, I do have, most of the stuff over around here is just not for um, foster care, but this right here I did dedicate to store toys. I didn't buy a bunch of toys yet, guys, because I don't know what age I'm going to get, and there's a big difference between what a four-month-old is going to play with and what a two-year-old is going to play with. So I just left this open to buy more toys when I get a placement. I did, however, put a few things over here. So I got some puzzles, shape sorter, um, a couple baby toys, just some basic things to occupy them before I can go to the store. And that is basically it, guys. That is what I got for foster care um, to prepare for a placement. Let me know in the comments below if you guys think I forgot anything. I do have a car seat and a stroller in my car. Um, but other than that, that's basically all I got for um, preparing for a placement. Let me know if you guys think I missed anything or if there was anything that was super helpful for you when you got your first placement. And I will talk to you guys next time.